Good morning everybody and this is your Forex Day Trade Setups for today. So Euro USD, um, as we discussed yesterday, pretty much a flag break and then a retest. Buyers try to push it back up, basically try to turn it into a range. And uh, at the moment we are in no man's land. So kind of 50-50, we're just ranging at the moment. Uh, there is a key level that we're bouncing off at the moment. But I need to add another level on here, and that is this double bottom potential, which is 109.611. So if we get down to the levels we want to be trading, uh, you'll see big up, big down the last two days. So we had the move down, we had the, the break above, and then we've sort of tracked the, the bottom of the flag before selling off uh, yesterday. So you can see there was the pretty decent inside bar. Probably well worth taking a short there with a stop above it and uh, nah, pretty much what happened there is a move. We've now come back to the moving averages and we rejected them this morning. So uh, I'd be keen to see a move back to 110 and the 110 obviously is a round number and we're going to be fighting around there. So I want to see a move back to 110 and a decent rejection of it before looking for an opportunity to the downside. Uh, the opportunity to downside will more than likely be capped by 109.611. So if we get through that level and test it, then it's game on. And we are looking for uh, what looks like a head and shoulders here, which is a shoulder, head, shoulder. So basically what you're going to be looking for is a move of around 800 points to the downside. And uh, your stop area is going to be above the high of today. Anyway, that's uh, Euro USD. If we move across to US dollar Japanese yen, don't like the look of what we're seeing here. You know, we've got uh, two hanging men in a row. Oscillators all grouped to the upside. You know, we've got some levels here that we need to pay attention to, but I'm more interested in this structure to the downside. So I want to see a pullback down to um, what is this level? Uh, 119.391 before even looking to continue chasing this to the upside. So if you look at the hour, pretty much range bound as well. And uh, the break below, I think we need to just readjust these levels. So the break below this level here at 125.92, that would open up the move to the downside. So until that happens, uh, we'll have to leave this level in here. If we can keep find support chat 121, uh, then you know we're probably going to be looking for a little bit of a move to the upside, but this range uh, that we formed yesterday it could be an inverse head and shoulders as well, but I just don't like the way it looks right now. So the other option would be a break, a good break above 121.344, a bit of a rally and then a pullback, and we need to find support there, and that would be the next option to buy to get in long. So uh, dollar pairs are pretty much set on hands this morning. Uh, moving on to pound, and that's British pound, Japanese yen. Uh, similar scenario here. We've got a, a piercing bat, bat, a piercing bar. Then we've got a hanging man. Uh, I'm still of the opinion we need to wait for a pullback onto a decent level, and that decent level is 158144. Pointless trying to chase it at this level. We're too far from the moving averages, and there's zero no uh, there's no structure where we are. And at the same time, we've gone parabolic on the move. So uh, if we get down to the hour, uh, you can see yesterday we had a bit of a consolidation, then a fall off. We failed at that level and we have now kind of formed a new level, which is this one here. So if we can stay here, uh, one above 159.757, uh, I'd expect Sort of a London breakout strategy would be the way to go. So above the high of today, wait for the first seven one-hour bars, uh, draw a level on the top and on the bottom. And if we break the top one, then I expect us to come and test this uh, level here at 161.066.088 uh, to start with. If we break to the downside, I'm not really keen on chasing that short because that would be against the trend. The trend is up at the moment. I'd then rather be waiting to see where we're going to find support. And the closest support is here at 158, 144 with a gap below us, uh, which would also act as a magnet. So you need to pay attention to that as well. So this is also kind of a sit on hands for me at the moment. Uh, it's extremely overbought on the higher time frame. So I don't really want to be jumping in on something like that. Um, lastly, Euro British Pound. And um, yeah, on the eight hour, sound like a stuck record, but uh, every time we get above the 155 EMA, uh, we tend to reverse off it. 
Now there is a measured move in play here and that's this uh, head and shoulders structure here so there is your measured move the level is still in so we want to see the rejection that's happening now that's kind of the rejection we're looking for and if we look at the hour I would be uh, again London breakout strategy at the moment so a move to the upside is not necessarily bullish so a move all the way back up to this area here at 083595 or 083600 that would be a fairly nice area to get short you've got a nice tight stop above this uh, pin bar here and then you're looking for a move down to the measured move um, alternatively at the moment we need to pay attention to what happens here at 083345 it is a bit of a flag forming and it does look like we have a bit of a flag break there's our flag break there so I'd expect price to come back, reject this and move down. Another one for London breakout strategy. First seven bars, uh, draw a level on the high of the first seven bars and, and on the low of the first seven bars. If you have a 15 minute break below the bar, that's going to validate this uh, flag break for you. And this is your first target to the downside right here at 082695. Okay, anyway, that's kind of my view at the moment. This is probably the only one of the four that uh, is looking interesting and looking half like we have a trade and you more than likely to be able to pick it up on the 15 minutes. So I think during the European Open, you'll probably get a retest of the flag break uh, or alternatively, if it does, if that fails, you're going to get a retest of the bigger move to the upside. But again, London breakout will help you get that uh, get that move set anyway hope it helps and uh, we will catch up with you tomorrow morning cheers for now